Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? So this is me, the ITK HQ, and today we'll be taking a look at iOS 7 Beta 5. Now it's 6th of August, it's Tuesday, and it's actually quite unexpected that we're actually having Beta 5 uh, in, um, within a week. So last week, on Monday, Apple City did Beta 4, and just a week later, we have the Beta 5. That's actually pretty cool. No, I believe it's because uh, of the thing, like, actually the beta 4 was actually delayed one week. Uh, that was because of some issues that were going on with the developer side and it was kind of hacked or anything like that. So, I think just to get back on track, they have seeded the beta 5 to developers a little earlier. Alright, let's actually go and take a quick look at what are the new changes basically. So, first of all, this is still over the air. So if you go over to settings, you go with journal, you head down over to software update, allow this to refresh, and it's going to go ahead and show you uh, that there is a new update available. Download it and install it. Now, the first change I'm going to go and talk about is that if you go over to settings, you will see these icons right here, these kind of colorful, uh, pretty nice labels right beside the uh, text. As you guys can see, we have this orange icon right here next to airplane mode so these actually look a lot more pleasing to look at and they actually look quite good as well to be honest so you know that just kind of gives a nice look to these settings so that's the first change again you can see that we have this pink kind of uh, icon the label right uh, beside the sound so that's the first change that's actually pretty good uh, secondly if you go over to notification center let me go over to today you will see that if I was kind of get in, back and get in focus you can see we have this uh, Yahoo brand right here. So it's basically telling us that they're actually getting all that uh, weather information through Yahoo. Uh, now, number three, we'll take a look at uh, the notification center and control center. So basically, um, it's a lot less transparent now. And if you ask me, it is actually a lot more blacker. So that's the number, the first thing that I actually noticed as well that notification center is actually a lot uh, you know, less transparent and same goes for the control center as well as you guys can see it's a lot more wider now or grayish and it's, it's actually a lot less transparent as well so uh, that's that now also you can actually uh, you actually get this setting new setting for control centers if you head down over to settings and go to control center you will see access within apps so basically if you turn this on it will actually prevent you from accessing control center uh, from your within apps as you guys can see I can't access control center uh, from tweetbot however if I turn this back on now I can go ahead and access control center within apps just like that so that's pretty cool other than that if you go over to and if you kind of power this thing off you can see that we have these different kind of UI as well. So you know, instead of having this large red bars, uh, we have this kind of a small bar right here. That's actually pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Now we actually we also get this kind of a little different notification as well. It actually allows you to kind of uh, uh, kind of use that to get it into the notification center. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of leave this picture uh, right in front of you guys. But that's pretty much it guys, that's the new iOS 7 beta 5, so again, it's a lot more UI changes actually, so again, we have uh, different setting icons, uh, we have a little different kind of changed uh, control center as well as the notification center. So guys, that's pretty much it from this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will catch you guys in my next one.